The King James Bible, the first book of the Chronicles, chapter 14. Now Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David in timber of cedars with masons and carpenters to build him a house. And David perceived that the Lord had confirmed him king over Israel, for his kingdom was lifted up on high because of his people Israel. And David took more wives at Jerusalem, and David begat more sons and daughters. Now these are the names of his children which he had in Jerusalem, Shammua and Shobab, Nathan and Solomon, and Ibhar and Elishua, and Eliphalat, and Nogash and Nepheg and Japhia, and Elishama and Belida and Eliphalat. And when the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David. And David heard of it and went out against them. And the Philistines came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephraim. And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines, and wilt thou deliver them into mine hand? And the Lord said unto him, Go up, for I will deliver them into thine hand. So they came to baal Perazim, and David smote them there. Then David said, God hath spoken in upon mine enemies by mine hand like the breaking forth of water. Therefore they called the name of that place baal Perazim. And when they had left their gods there, David had gave a commandment, and they were burned with fire. And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Before David inquired again of God, and God said unto him, Go not up after them, turn away from them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be, when thou shalt hear the sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to battle. For God has gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. David therefore did as God commanded him, and they smote the host of the Philistines from Gibeon even to Gazer. And the fame of David went up from all the lands, and the Lord brought the fear of him upon all nations. Chapter 15 And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of God, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of the God but the Levites, for them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God, and to minister unto him forever. And David gathered all Israel together in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brother in a hundred and twenty, of the sons of Merari, Azahiah the chief, and his brother in two hundred and twenty, of the sons of Gershom, Joel the chief, and his brother in a hundred and thirty, of the sons of Elasaphan, Shemaiah and the chief, and his brethren two hundred. Of the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brethren fourscore. Of the sons of Uziel, Aminadab the chief, and his brethren a hundred and twelve. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Azahiah, and Joel, Shemaiah, and Eliel, and Aminadab and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord of God of Israel unto this place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel, and the children of the, of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with their staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Heman, the son of Joel, and his brethren, Asaph, the son of Berechiah, and the sons of Merari, their brethren, Ethan, the son of Cushiah, and all of them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jezeel, and Shemiramoth, and Jahil, and Uni, Eliab, and Benaniah, and 
Masiah, Masiah, and Mattithiah, and Elephalo, and Mekaniah, and Obed Edom, and Jael, the porters. So the singers Heman, Azaph, and Ethan were, were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass. And Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Uni, and Eliab, and Manasiah, and Benaniah, with psalteries on Alamoth, and Mattathiah, and Elepha, and Mechaniah, and Obed Edom, and Jehiel, and Azaziah, with harps on the Sheminath to excel. And Chenani, the chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful. And Barakiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers of the ark. And Shabana and Jehoshaphat and Nathiel and Amasai and Zechariah and Benaniah and Eleazar the priest did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God. And Obed Edom and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obed-Edom with joy. And it came to pass when God helped the Levites that bear the ark for the covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed in a robe of fine linen. And all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and the Chenaniah, the master of the song with the singers, David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord with shouting with the sound of the coronet and with trumpets and with cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass as the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came to the city of David that Michael, the daughter of Saul, look, looking out at a window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. Chapter 16 So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of the offering, the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dwelt in every one, he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, and, and to record, and to thank, and to praise the Lord God of Israel. Asaph the chief, and, and next to him Zechariah, Jael, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Metathaniah, and Eliab, and Benaniah, and Obed-Edom, and Jaleel, Jael, sorry, with psalteries and with harps, but Asaph made a sound with cymbals. Benaniah also, and Jehaziel the priest, with trumpets, continually before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then on the day David delivered first his this psalm, to thank the Lord into the hand, to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren, Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, thank ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, the servant, ye children of Jacob, his, cho his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of the covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Saying unto, saying unto thee, I will give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, 
He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, Shew forth from this day of his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are the presence. Strength and gladness are in the, his place. Give unto the Lord, ye, ye kindreds of people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out of the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, Save us, O God, of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that he, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for ever and ever, and all the pe and all the people said amen and praised the lord so he left there before the ark of the covenant of the the lord azahaf and his brethren to minister before the ark continually for every day's work required and obed edom with their brethren threescore and eight obed edom also the son of jeduthun and hosa to be porters and zadok the priest and his brother and the priest before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high places, place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord upon the altar of the burnt offering continually morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel. And with them Heman and Jedithun, and the rest that were chosen were who were expressed by name to give thanks to the Lord, because his mercy, mercy endureth forever. And him, and them, and with them Heman and Jeduthun, with trumpets and cymbals for those that should make a sound, and with musical instruments of God, and the sons of Jeduthun were porters. And all the people departed, every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house.